What is up everyone? This is Suicide and welcome back to another video. Now in this video I will be showing you uh, the importance of mastery as it is so so very important and I'll just be telling you uh, the couple of mathematical calculations but not really. Anyway, as you can see I am very close to leveling up and my boat is going to leave in 1 hour and 10 minutes so we will do this and we will get that shipment, and there is a green voucher. Right, so we'll send off the boat. Uh, we don't get much for the time bonus, but enough to make it worthwhile. And that XP just leveled us up, and so we have unlocked the cake oven, the tabby cat, the carrot cake, the cat house, the woolly chaps, I think it's chaps, right? Hopefully. Uh, the, the waterfall, the statue, the snail. It's a cool snail. And three fields. And I love fields. Fields are really, really useful, as you already know. Now, also, my barn is so full. Like, look how much it's over the limit. Now, the reason it's over the limit is because I keep collecting stuff from watching the movies and spinning the Wheel of Fortune, but I literally, like, cannot do anything with it. And so, finally, 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 I finally got the eighth plank, like, not long ago, just, like, very recently. And so I can finally upgrade it and actually do stuff, like, literally, I cannot currently do anything. So I will... Upgraded I've been waiting for this for so long. There we go. So we have unlocked some space finally I can breathe that was like very like Oppressive kind of having like so much well. No, that's the wrong word like it, it just wasn't nice having that much uh, Like that much Like lack of space like I just couldn't do anything so now I'm so happy to have this now as you can see I have uh got unlocked another slot and that was because I got a friend on Facebook and that friend happened to be Ricky Burn I think it's Burnett uh, well, the Ricky, uh, Red Knight, the Heyday YouTuber, uh, he, he is an, another fantastic YouTuber, be sure to go check him out, anyway, I friended him on Facebook, and so that's why I unlocked a slot, because he was my first friend on Facebook, and so my Facebook is Super Sight Heyday, if you're wondering. So I will harvest all this, there's just so much to harvest, so much to unlock, like, everything, it's like... Like, it's so nice not having that full, like, completely full to the brim anymore. And while I was at it, I ended up getting so much, uh, because I continued to produce the feed because my silo wasn't quite full. So, as you can see, I just stockpiled so, so much feed. So, right now, I'm just going through, uh, giving all my animals uh, the, some food, which they have been deprived of for too long now. Okay, and we'll go to Greg's farm, and we will buy the remaining supplies. Which is awesome. Okay, and we have cow feed to get. Where it's like there's just so much going on right now. They're getting so much food, more food than they've gotten in a very long time, which is very sad. But they're getting it. Okay. Right. So I will go, and you can see I've been selling lots of raspberries. And look at all my coins. It's actually very high at the moment. Oh, I better just check what the next boat wants. Cream, I hate it when they want cream. Uh, I'll request uh, for that and I'll, I'll make sure I have plenty of soybeans. Okay, so I will sell off some raspberries and sell off some pumpkins and sell off some more pumpkins. And right, so we'll put that like so. Okay, have we got soybean? No, we, we are in shortage of soybeans. Uh, there's some soybeans. Okay, we'll buy 10 soybeans. And hopefully more, right? So I'll be able to get some revives. Yay, that's good. Okay, that was helpful. And I got more coins in a chest. Okay, continue looking. There's a bolt. Nope. Okay, continue and no. Right, so we'll start producing cream right now. So that when the next boat comes, we'll have plenty. And over here, we have all this. And continue producing these. And then we can keep making those shirts. Okay, so oh no, we've hit we've hit the limit, but that doesn't that doesn't matter because we have lots of we've we've just got hot heaps of stuff. Right, so I come over here and I will sell off. No, I might want the eggs actually. I'm just looking at what I don't need. Okay, I don't really need two cotton shirts. 
I'll sell them off. And when all these raspberries, these ones get ready, then uh, they've been harvested three times, so then I'll finally be able to cut them all down and get rid of my 46 axes, which have been, yeah, taking up a lot of space for a lot a lot of time. Right, so we selling off this. Uh, it's, it's so nice to sell stuff. It's like, yay, such a relief. And then look at all that chicken feed I've got. Uh, I'll get a bit of coins for selling those. Oh, nope. We haven't got that. Okay, and we can pl plant 10 soybeans, but hopefully we ideally want more. So I've got no sorry and a no sorry. Okay, uh, pancakes, moving on to this. Brown sugar, right. And then we come here and we'll do pancakes. Pancakes, right. So we need, oh, there we go, that works. Beautiful. Okay, now we will, we need soybeans, but we can't get soybeans. Okay, so we'll come in here and we will sell off these these other items that we don't really need. What? Right, so it's, it's always good having 10 free space at least, so I've got that, so now I can buy stuff with far more ease. Okay, so I'm selling off all these spare items, so it will just free up that bit more space. Okay, come along here. Oh, yes, five screw, five screw, and planks. Yes, that was awesome. That was so, so good. That was, that felt great. That was like the most planks I've ever bought. Like, and screws, like, five, that is a, oh, that, that, and all these revives, oh, thank you, this farm is beautiful, the most beautiful farm I've seen in a very long time, that was amazing, that was so good, oh, oh, and bolts, yes, I better quickly upgrade my, my silo, and then I can return, and I can just about upgrade that again, and it took me, like, Felt like weeks. Uh, I, it wasn't quite. I, maybe it was. I'm not sure, but it did take a very long time. Oh, that's profitable. Nope, they haven't got that. It did take me a very, very long time uh, to upgrade my previous barn, but that was so amazing. That was incredible. Right, so we can't buy the TV kit. As you can see, I have got a few vouchers. Uh, not too many, but uh, a few. Okay, so we got our cake oven. Where's the cake oven going to go? I wonder. Okay, this is going to be tricky to find a spot. Uh, is there any little uh, place where I can write? So if I maybe move some of these over here, just trying to make way for it. Uh, can't even find space for these little things, let alone a big um, cake oven. Right, okay, see if this works. Okay, cake oven. Come on, you got this. No. Okay, where are we going to put the cake oven? This is a tad problematic. In here? Right, no. No. Oh, oh, yes, yes, right there. Beautiful. Okay, <laughs> we have found a space for the cake oven. Right, so as you can see, I'm currently in the Steel Gamer uh, neighborhood because Caleb. Caleb's farm invited me, so I'll I'll stay for this in this hood for a while and then may move on depending. Right, so I'm just looking for no more soybeans. Never mind. The boat will take ages before it leaves. Right, so I'll get some wheat. Okay, and we'll come back and I should have probably checked for revives. We'll put them on and uh, I might as well sell off some of this chicken feed because I have so much. Right, so there we go, there goes that, and I'll go this, uh, I, might, yeah, I might end up selling off 30, because I could continue making it even though I was full, oh, whoa, didn't want to sell the nails, that'd be very bad, okay, and we'll, yeah, I think we'll sell off 30, oh, and there's some, there's some pig feed, start, uh, some other feeds under there starting to show, I didn't see them before, but now I see them, right, so uh, there we go, more chicken feed, maybe I'll have to sell off 40, I think I'll have to sell off 40. There's a lot of chicken feed. And then I'll advertise something that people probably won't want as much as chicken feed, which is pumpkins. Right, so there we go. We're, we're finally making movement. Okay, so there we go. Uh, pigs, there we go. This is awesome. We're finally selling and getting stuff, like making room. We haven't had room in a long time. And over there, hey, for the first time in a very long time, all my animals are fed, and with spare feed. And I can't really make those feeds, because then it will require soybeans. That is quite annoying. Okay, uh, I can sell off four of these, because three uh, milk 
uh, well, since they take an hour, and uh, these cream takes 20 minutes, then after an hour, these will be ready again, so that is why I don't need to worry about that. Okay, so, uh, and what should, I'll just go with a, with a cheeky, uh, there we go, some of those corn in there. Right, so now back to the point of mastery, and I'll find uh, this here has a mastery start. Now, the importance of mastery cannot be uh, overestimated. Yeah, can't be overestimated. Like, it's it's really, really good. And so, mastery... Uh, now, I, what I mean by mastery being good is only if you get the third star. The first two don't really matter that much because normally you're not doing uh, those kind of... Like, you're not doing truck uh, kind of events, and if they count for boat events, like, you don't often do those. But uh, if you are, for example, uh, because they're not worth uh, many coins, uh, even with a 10% uh, bonus, it's not, it doesn't even make up for the roadside shop. But uh, XP, if you're going for XP, then that would be useful. But when I'm talking about mastery, I'm talking about the final, well, mastery means to, like, star them, but I'm talking about full mastery which is this one here, and this means that the mach machine will produce uh, its items 15% quicker, and that is a major, major, uh, like, bonus, and so, it, like, it doesn't sound much, but it's actually a lot. Ironically, 15%, uh, that's, that there, producing 15% faster, actually means, you'd think it would mean 15% more profitability for your production machine. Actually, it, it actually makes 17% uh, more profitability. It's it's quite funny. I, I forget if it's either 17.1 or 17.6% more profitable. And so you'd think it would be 15%, uh, if it's 15% quicker, it would be 15% more profitable. It doesn't seem to be the case. It's actually 17.1 or 17.6% more profitable. So, for example, if you were producing, uh, if you, for example made a thousand dollars a day from the uh, mastery the the barbecue grill mastery that's like totally wrong calculation but we'll just go with that let's say you make a thousand coins per day from the barbecue grill now if you uh, unlock this you will make one thousand one hundred and seventy coins and so that's an additional hundred and seventy uh, coins extra on that thousand every day and you know, then it, it would add up. You know, if you if you continued producing 170 da uh, extra coins on just one machine alone, then for imagine how much you make in a year, be 365 times 170 coins. Now that's a big number, and that's all bonus coins. So uh, making the 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 things uh, getting the mastery start is extremely important. I find so many people don't bother in that. Uh, but another key hint to doing that, which I'm sure you all know by now, is always keep the machines going. Always have stuff going in them. Because not only are you making lots of profit, and if you didn't have stuff going, you'd be missing out on heaps of profit, you're also pushing that machine forwards to mastery. And so, you'll find, I can guarantee, if you actively try and always have every single machine going, uh, you'll find that lots of people are quite surprised how many machines that you've mastered at such a low level. Because to them, they'll... To most players, it takes them a very long time and they become very high level before they start mastering a lot of their machines. Whereas if you do it like me, when you're just actively always keeping the machines going and you're not actively striving for XP, you'll find that you unlock a ton of, uh, ton more mastery stars in uh, fully master whole even machines more than the average player. Because the average player, they don't, they, uh, well, they, they uh, don't, they don't always, they don't seem to realize the importance of not just mastery, but the, the importance of keeping the machine going. Because even if you understand the, the why keeping the machine going is important, then regardless of mastery, the mastery star will just come because you're just trying to keep it going. That's the main thing. And since none of the products give it different uh, amounts of mastery star, it's all just the total amount of time, then the products don't affect it, and all you have to do is make sure that you're always producing products, and then sooner as soon as, uh, sooner than you know it, you'll have a ma uh, three mastery stars. And it's actually not that difficult to get uh, mastery stars. Like, yeah, you, you see certain people, like, I've seen people under level 50, and they've had, like, 
of the machines they've got. They'd, they'd have well over half of them uh, fully mastered, which is I think is good. It, it makes your farm look far better if you've fully mastered it, because it shows that you've sort of taken care... Well, you could argue that it shows that you've taken care of it, because some people might just level up to, like, level 100, just absolutely spending all their coins on getting XP uh, and doing boat orders and uh, these kind of things, and not even worrying about... Uh, not worrying about, like mastering things, so hardly ever keeping the production machines going, and before they know it, they'll be up there, and they won't have mastered that many, uh, machines, and then it will, it just won't look good, like, yeah, it's, it, I guess you could say, well, it doesn't matter what it looks like, but it's not, well, it's not, it's not actually about the looks, when I'm talking about mastery, I'm, I'm meaning, the, the reason why you do it is, well, the main, the own, the pure reason is, well, well, there's sort of three reasons, like, and the fact that you want to keep it going, that's just, smart, that's just clever, but also that when you hit that, it will then produce good so much more, uh, it's like improving its technology, it will produce them so much quicker, like 15% quicker, which makes it 17% more profitable, so that is a lot more profitability, and then just the side effect of that is people will think that you're a better farmer, because you'll have everything, uh, f like, f or a lot of things fully starred. Right, so, yeah, the, the importance of mastery cannot be underestimated, or, like, I, I, I forget if it's underestimated or overestimated, it's just, like, like, people, like, I'm, I'm trying to say, like, it's, it's just, like, it's incredible, so you can't really just, like, say, oh, no, it's not that important, it really is important, mastery is a very key thing to doing well, uh, in heyday, because you just get so much more coins so much quicker. Right, so, some decorations, 45 diamonds, um, 1,500 coins, I think the snail is definitely most worth it, uh, the 15 gold vouchers, that will take me a very long time to reach 15 gold vouchers, so I think I'll pass. Right, so, uh, what is the other thing, oh, cat house, okay, so we've unlocked a cat house, right, so, we'll, uh, <laughs> the barrel, the barrel's on my field, <laughs> no, not a barrel, a container thing, it's, yeah, it's kind of like a barrel, not really, but, um, no, my crops are, like, going to grow through it. Oh, yeah, we can harvest, uh, not harvest, but collect these because we no longer, um, we no longer, there's nothing special about collecting bread anymore. Right, so we go along here and we put this on full. Okay, now we look in here. Uh, bolts are always good. No, no, I missed it. Oh, well. Okay, um... But yeah, that that before when I got those planks and screws, nothing beats that. That was that was beautiful. That was so so good. Okay, so uh, nothing of importance currently at the moment, and we have all this ready, and so we'll harvest all that, and we'll put in. Uh, so oh, another plank! No way I can get two barn upgrades in one day. That's like unless I got it like at the very start. That's the most I've ever had. Like that is crazy. Like that, those planks that I bought were just incredible. And it shows, like, although, just like, uh, before I upgraded it before, I had significantly more duct tape. I had way, way, way more duct tape, and I had way, um, way more bolts. And as you can see, it's just balanced out. And now, from me having hardly any planks and full, uh, so much duct tape and so much bolts, I've now got very similar amounts. And so if I'd gone and sold the duct tapes and the bolts thinking, oh, I've got so much, I'm not going to need it, I could have easily caught up with the plank. So always never to try and sell any of them, because you'll be surprised how quickly you can catch up with one and not another. You just, uh, it, it swaps around heaps. And so it's always good to never sell building materials, because or those, at some po all points in the game, you always have less of one than the other two. Uh, you seem to always catch up, and then if you've sold off the spare ones, then suddenly that that might become the one that you need. For example, if I'd sold off all my duct tape, uh, then I would have found that I couldn't probably upgrade it then, uh, because, like, if, what, well, uh, for example, let's say this, if I sell off all my uh, nail, if I sold off 20 nails, so I just had 9, and then let's say I found 10 screws and 10 wooden panels. 
I'd be able to upgrade and then I'd have far more of them than I would nails and then suddenly I wouldn't have many nails and nails would be the thing I need and I'd just sold my nails. So you really, if possible, want to keep as many of those as you can and with the barn I have and when I'll be using these 46 uh, axes, uh, I'll be holding lots of them. As well as that, you can also trade them uh, with other players. So I would never recommend selling off nails, that, or any building materials. I only did it once, and that was like at the very start, and that was bad. I probably, now I think about it, should have probably just sold off shovels uh, or something like that. So I would have, they would have been... Yeah, I would have, I should have sold off them and not had nails, but I still do have a huge amount of nails, so it didn't seem to affect me, but it could later in the game. I might be in shortage of nails, which I would have had if I hadn't sold them off. Anyway, I, I, it's, it's manageable. Okay, so I will put that on sale. Right, and then they are producing again, and then I have all this feed to collect. That's a lot of feed. Right, and so now I'll determine which, okay, pigs, definitely pigs, and maybe some cow feed. Right, and oh, the carrots as well. Great. Okay, let's keep looking for... Oh, I'll buy the carrots. I'll just say, no, nothing more important than that. Right, so we got the carrots. Now we just need the soybeans for our boat, which I can't seem to find, but no worries. Right, so we'll go pig, pig. Uh, there we go. We'll put all that pig stuff in, and then we'll go cow, cow, and... um. Oh, we've got heaps of that, so I'll just go that... Boom, and then I'll have to go that. And then hopefully I can find soybeans. And so that's quite good, having all my machines, every single one of them in production, except the cake thing, because cake oven, because that's not really it. But yeah, that is basically it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope that the, the, the me um, in enforcing, um, well, not really enforcing, but uh, um, reminding you encouraging you of the amount of uh, the importance of mastery will inspire you to continue uh, producing products which will lead to you getting that third mastery star which will lead uh, lead to you getting uh, far more profitable uh, like the machine will be far more profitable so I hope that that uh, advice and and like telling you how important it is will will really make you think and 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 like probably just try and get that mastery star because you realize how important it actually is anyway let me know in the comments what you think about mastery and whether you think how important you think it is and any other reasons as to why it would be important that i've missed and please leave a like if you liked it please subscribe if you're enjoying these videos this has been super sight and remember to make coins faster than honeybees make honey